okay guys today's video we'll be preparing lasagna so all we need for the lasagna is grinded meats I'm using the beef and the pork meat together then we have meat sauce we have meat meat over here we have a cup of uh, wine we have our pasta over there we have tomatoes a bottle of blended tomatoes then a shop of onions carrots and sedan then we also have our bacon it already dies dies bacon and salt the meat sauce it already contains seasoning so i'm not using any seasoning cube like maggi nothing so let's start i'm going to add a very a small oil on the pan i don't need that much it's okay because the the bacon contains oil and the meat contains oil too so we don't need to add a lot of oil so my cooker is already on i'm going to add my dice vegetables Try this for some for some time for some for about five minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to add the diced bacon on it also. So I'm going to fry the bacon until it brings out all the oil on it. So I'll keep on stirring time to time. So I wait for the bacon to to fry and becomes a little bit brownish the harum is very nice because i'm using a smoke bacon so it's yeah that smoky aroma is so nice i like it so guys i want you guys to try to try this recipe on your own also i'm going to add the grinded meat The red wine this one is just a cup of red wine so I'm going to add it Red wine has already evaporated. Evaporate. 
inside now you see there's no liquid the, the wine I poured inside has already evaporated I'm going to pour my blended tomatoes the tomatoes I'm using is not that it's not smooth because I don't like my tomatoes to be too smooth I'm going to add my meat sauce so I will add it to cook for two hours on a low fire okay so let me add it and stir Time to time, I will keep controlling, turning it. If the water get dried, then I will be adding my milk. So as the water get dried, I will be using the milk to as a liquid on it later. Before covering it, we we'll add our salt also. Add salt to your like. It's to cook on a low fire. Okay, guys, let's see. After two hours of cooking, you see, this is two hours of cooking on a very low fire. Okay guys, I'm going to show you uh, how to prepare the white sauce. You will be needed for your lasagna, which is called bechamel. In the Italian language, it's called bechamel. Those people that living in Italy, you know that you can get the, uh, the bechamel in the supermarket, already made one in the supermarket. I will show you the process here because of those people outside it play maybe you can't find it in your supermarket so that is why i'm doing it here it's something that you can make yourself at home so you need a uh, one liter of milk 100 uh, gram of uh, hot purpose flour 250 gram of uh, uh, butter and salt in pinch of salt as uh, to your taste and not make to give it flavor so guys let's start the first thing i'm going to do i'll put the milk on the fire then i'll put on this one the pot that i'm going to use to prepare the bechamel then the butter goes inside first so that it will melt I need to melt the butter so we are going to melt the butter Butter has already uh, made everything, so all we need now is to add our all purpose flour. So I add the flour and I mix very fast. Next thing 
we are going to do now, we are going to add our meat to it. After we add the milk, we just continue to be turning it. Eh? You don't stop because if you leave it, eh, it will get thicker under and it now have a lot of lumps inside. We don't need it. So, like this, continue turning until you get to the thickness you are looking for. So, when it gets to the thickness you like, then you put off your gas. I'm doing it on a very low fire. So, you can see it, guys. So guys, it's it's not it's not difficult. It's something you just prepare within let's say ten minutes. Since this is the thickness um I'm, I'm looking for, so I'll put on the gas cooker now. Then add salt to your like. I'll add my salt. Then, we not make. You see. This is for manju chips. So the lasagna is, is they are fresh one also you can get the fresh one you can use this one uh, some people you cook it uh, maybe in five about five minutes or eight minutes let us eight minutes on on the water before using it but this one i bought they say you don't need to cook it first you can just use it directly so let's start the first thing we are going to put is our bechamel on the on the on our baking pan. We we'll spread it. Then we we'll start laying our pasta on it, one after the other. We we'll cover. We we'll lay. Let, do the first layer with the pasta after we finish laying the pasta we will now start putting our ragu on top of the pasta, we will cover the pasta with ragu also. Spread it on it. again on top of the ragu and pasta we now have some parmigiana chips on top and lay another layer of pasta and cover it with with um, the sauce. We we'll continue like this until we fill our baking pan.
in the oven now but before putting it in the oven we will slice some butter on top of it 